Coming to the first problem, check whether the following are quadratic equations. The first bit given is x plus 1 whole square is equal to 2 times of x minus 3. On left hand side we have x plus 1 whole square. We know that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So we can write x plus 1 whole square as x square plus 2x plus 1. And on right hand side we have 2 times of x minus 3. So 2 times of x is 2x and 2 times of minus 3 is minus 6. Now transposing the terms on the right hand side to the left hand side we get x square plus 2x plus 1. This, these are the terms of left hand side and the right hand side terms are transposed to left hand side. So 2x becomes minus 2x and minus 6 becomes plus 6. This is equal to 0. So plus 2x and minus 2x will be cancelled. So we have x square and we don't have any x coefficient term and plus 1 plus 6 becomes plus 7. So this is equal to 0. So the final equation is x square plus 7 is equal to 0. We know that general form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So if we notice this equation is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a is equal to 1, b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 7. So by comparing this equation with the standard equation, we can say that the given equation which is x plus 1 whole square is equal to 2 times of x minus 3 is a quadratic equation. Coming to the first problem, check whether the following are quadratic equations. Now coming to the second bit which is x square minus 2x is equal to minus 2 times of 3 minus x. On the left hand side we, ha we have x square minus 2x, this is x square minus 2x and on RHS we have minus 2 times of 3 minus x. So minus 2 times of 3 is minus 6 and minus 2 times of minus x is plus 2x. So let us transpose the terms on the left hand side to the right hand side. Then the equation becomes x square minus 2x plus 6 minus 2x is equal to 0. So we can write x square minus 2x and minus 2x becomes minus 4x and plus 6 is equal to 0. We have the general form of quadratic equation as ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So if we compare this equation with the standard equation, we get a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to 6. So the final equation which is x square minus 4x plus 6 is equal to 0. On comparing with ax square plus bx plus c, we can say that the given equation is a quadratic equation.